Despite Creepshow Art's claims that Emily Artful is just a liar, Emily Artful is not backing down. She's standing by her previous claims, her opinion that Shannon was and is her stalker, and the allegations that she made against Anthony. And she feels that she has the evidence to back these things up. What's well, crack, it's Vangelina Scott, and today we are going to be talking once again about Creepshow Art and the situation with Emily Artful. Now, as a lot of you already know, Creepshow Art did a very long video talking about Emily and basically saying, look, she used to be a terrible person, and look, she said this thing, so clearly I'm right, <laughs> and I've never done anything bad. Ever. I have talked about that in a previous video, so if you want to know more about that or you just need a reminder, link is in the description. Now, Emily Artful has also responded in her own equally long but much more bearable video, where she pretty much defends her stance, points out a lot of inconsistencies in what Shannon is saying, and provides some more evidence to further back up her claims. So we will be going over all of that today, but before we do that, I have a new package here from Casetify, who are the sponsor of today's video, which I would like to unbox for you guys. I really, really love the boxes they come in. I kept the other one, it's over there. And I also especially love the fact that they're made from 100% recycled materials. This is a custom ultra impact case. These two beauties are the crush impact cases and I'll be telling you more about the crush cases in a second. And of course, yeah, these are from their own designs. They're not custom ones. And these are two custom crush ultra impact cases. This one says Zan and this one just says VS for Vangelina Scov. So you may be saying to yourself at this point, Vangelina, you now have a bucket load of case to fight cases what are you going to do with them when you inevitably upgrade your phone? And thankfully, I don't have to just throw them away. Thanks to Casetify sustainability efforts, they have a Recasetify program. This is where you can send all your old phone cases back to Casetify, and it doesn't even have to be their own cases, it can be any phone case. They then disassemble them, crush them into tiny little pellets, and use those to make new phone cases. The crushed pellets are combined with other plastics, scraps manufacturing and bioplastics, and are then used to make their crush cases. And if you look, you can actually see the crushed up pellets in the case pretty cool. And to do this, they don't sacrifice any quality in the phone cases. The ultra impact cases are still drop tested for up to 9.8 feet, even in the crush cases. And the impact crush cases can be dropped by up to 6.6 feet. Because even though they are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, they still use the same Chitek 2.0 technology. And to prove that to you, let me demonstrate. As you can see, my phone's working fine, no issues with it or anything like that. This is the impact crush case and my phone is still fine. And they are also non-toxic, non-hazardous, and have an antimicrobial coating, which it kills up to 99% of bacteria. So honestly, I would really recommend that you get one of these cases. And also, if you have any spare phone cases lying around, why not just send them to Casetify so they can recycle them? So if you do wanna go ahead and get one of these recycled cases, you can go to casetify.com forward slash Vangelina to get 15% off the new Recasetify collection. Thank you so much, Casetify, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the actual topic of today video. Right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is one of the first things that Emily actually talks about in her video, and it's something that we've talked about before. This has to do with the sort of disclaimer that Creepshow Art put at the start of her video against Emily, which said that if you're seeing this video, one of two things happened. One, my lawyers negotiated with Emily Artful's lawyers, and we reached in private settlement, which resulted in some sort of retraction. I said that completely wrong, but you, you get the idea. Or two, I took Emily to court for defamation and came out the other side. Now, as we had all pretty much been saying, or speculating neither of these things were the case and Emily in her video also confirms this just saying that it's a flat-out lie neither of these things happened however what is interesting is that Emily says that this gives us an insight into what Shannon was planning for this video because Emily did receive a letter from Shannon's lawyer saying you need to take everything down anything you've ever said about Shannon and not speak about her again so Emily thinks that Shannon wanted to get her to a point where she had everything taken down all of her own claims and allegations and then would not be able to defend herself against anything that Shannon would then later say, i.e. this video, because clearly Shannon was planning to put it out after Emily had taken down her own claims. Seems a little bit sus. But obviously, as most people were speculating, Shannon put this video up just as her monetization was about to be 
cut off because she hadn't posted in so long and she would have to post a video to keep that. So many are saying this is the reason why she posted it early. Or it could just be that things didn't go to her plan and she just went, ah, whatever, I'm gonna post it anyway. There's also another interesting point that Emily makes at the start of her video, which is that in the letter from Shannon's lawyer, they were claiming that Shannon had to leave YouTube and lost income because of Emily. Now, obviously if you've ever followed any kind of a court case, you know that this is something that's quite common if you're trying to go for a defamation suit because you have to show that the other party has cost you something, has cost you income. But in Emily's view, this has nothing to do with her and it's because people are already suspicious of her when everything about lol cow came out. Now, these are just the first few kind of things that come up, but they do sort of have a theme, you could say at least have a theme of manipulation within them. Now, whether you think Creepshow Art or Shannon is being manipulative is up to you. We can't say for facts because as I probably forgot to say at the start of the video, but I'm saying it now, everything being said in this video is based on speculation and opinion and not on facts. But a lot of this seems to be based on manipulation and some of the main points that Emily makes in her video, she titles these sections manipulation and points out a lot of the things that Shannon did or does to make her seem like she's being manipulative and trying to twist the narrative. And there are a lot of examples of these and I'm just gonna go over some of the examples, not even all of them, because there's so many. For one, Shannon accused Emily of self-posting on LolCow, but allegedly Shannon was the one who was posting Emily's content on LolCow. If you are to believe the claims being made by the people on LolCow that these specific posts came from Shannon. And because of that, it seems like perhaps Shannon might have been posting Emily's content in an attempt to make it look like Emily was self-posting on LolCow, even though that's what Shannon herself allegedly was doing. Another example is in Shannon's very long video. She says, for Emily to say that I wrote Anthony's messages to Emily is a lie, which isn't flat out saying, Emily said I wrote these things. But again, Emily didn't say that. And it's making it sound like she did say that when she didn't. It was actually viewers, you guys, people in the comments and things like that who were saying that perhaps this is something that happened. And as well as that, Shannon also used so many posts from when Emily was a teenager, a child. And we've talked about this in depth, that she tried to use a issues and posts from when she was a kid to try and make her look like a bad person now, but shows no recent examples of any kind of bad or toxic behavior. Which of course, as we've pointed out before, a lot of these things that Shannon uses evidence would have had to have been archived when those posts were made, so years ago, and Emily herself points this out in the video, and says herself that it makes it seem like Shannon's just been stalking her for years. All of the evidence that she's used has just kind of further proved Emily's claims. To continue with the whole manipulation aspect of things though, we do have to talk briefly about Shannon's claims that Emily was lying about her use of certain things. And I won't go too in depth into that because we have talked about it at length in other videos. But in Shannon's video, she claims that, Emily claims she had been using two specific substances since the age of 14. This is one beginning with H and one beginning with C. I'm sure you can figure out which ones I'm talking about. But Emily never claimed these things. Emily claims this is just one more example of Shannon trying to twist the truth and make things sound much more extreme than they are and then parade this falsity around as real. And another one which I think is particularly damning personally, I don't know about a lot of you because maybe you have one you think is far worse. One thing that kept getting brought up was this person who Emily is referring to as Brandon, not his real name, but we're gonna just use the name Brandon. Now in Emily's original video, she showed that Shannon had contacted her directly out of nowhere to say, hey, I think I know who's been stalking and harassing both of us, and I think it's Brandon. So Shannon was the one to first make this claim, allegedly, but then in her own video, the most recent video, she makes it sound like Emily was just attacking Brandon for no reason, and that she herself had no part to play in it, and even calls Emily ableist for all of this. She just completely does not mention that she was allegedly the first person to say, hey, I think Brandon is stalking both of us. She just leaves that out. And looks like it's potentially in the hopes that people just won't go back and watch the other video. But I just, like the internet is forever. I don't understand how you can just 
sit there and leave out bits of information like people aren't gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb because for this situation people are people want to dig up what you're saying because well most of the time Shannon you're a big liar everybody's looking for inconsistencies in every single thing that you say what is the point of lying anymore people will figure it out I don't understand it I don't understand it okay I don't get it I don't get it. One very, very interesting thing that I do really, really want to bring up because it's something I hadn't actually seen before. I hadn't heard of this before. Like I obviously had seen Shannon's video and Emily's video, but I didn't like correlate them in my head. <laughs> Sometimes my brain is not working. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you guys. Another creator had pointed out that in Emily's original video, she had said that her boss had been sent a compromising video of her. However, Shannon then later said that this was a calming video, but at no point, did Emily say that this was a calming video? Only Shannon said that it was a calming video. Emily had just said that it was a compromising video and didn't go into any details. So how, pray thee tell, did Shannon know that it was a calming video? How? How did she know that? I would love to know the answer to that question if anybody would like to enlighten me. These for now though are the main things that I wanted to talk about because at least in my opinion these were the biggest examples of what could be seen as manipulation on Shannon's part. But in Emily's video she does go over a lot more things and she also gives further evidence of things like the situation with Anthony which I'm not going to go over now. So obviously watch the full video if you want to know absolutely everything. These are just my thoughts on it though. I do have to say that just the more this goes on, the deeper the hole gets that Creepshow Art is digging herself into and it's just not good. I don't know, like the plan that you have right now, it's not working, Shannon. I would just, I would advise that you just own up to everything that you potentially may or may not have done. Um, just, you know, be honest and just, I don't know, like the only way for you to survive all of this is just to start making content again like nothing happened because that seems to be what works for all the youtubers who get into big controversies they just start making videos again pretend nothing happened the end cancelling is not real it, it does not actually do anything so there you go we're just staying in that hole i i don't know i actually particularly don't care you know what it might be better for everybody if you just stay there but everybody watching do let me know in the comments what you think about all of this because that is obviously just what i think about this before i go as well i just want to say that i am now trying to stream more regularly and actually take twitch seriously which is difficult because i am who i am as a human and that's not great but on friday at 8 p.m irish time which is 3 p.m est and 12 p.m pst i'm gonna be streaming on twitch playing elden ring my twitch is vangelina scov so come join me there on friday if you want to i'm also gonna try and now stream tuesdays and thursdays but the schedule is up for changing so i'll keep you guys updated but do follow me on twitch if you're interested and hopefully see you on friday maybe please okay Cool. But yeah, that's going to be it for me for now. So please subscribe and turn on all notifications. I would really appreciate if you do that. And you can also follow me on social media. Like, comment, share and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video, including don't forget to go to casetify.com forward slash Vangelina to get 15% off your order and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.